What if you could take one of your existing forms and turn it into an AI agent with JotForm? Well, let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my workspace. And like I mentioned, if you already have a form that your users are utilizing and you would like to turn it into a more of an interactive experience for them, you can absolutely do that with AI agents. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this travel request form right here. Let's go ahead and edit this form. Then we're gonna go up to the top middle. We're gonna to go to the publish button. Then on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose AI agents. Now, right here, you can see that you can start training your agent from right here. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and create the agent and show you how to do it in AI agents. All right, so as you can see, we're currently in the build tab and over on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see other ways that you can utilize this. As of right now, we're going to be editing the standalone AI agent, but we also have chatbot. You can do voice, phone, SMS, WhatsApp, and even Facebook Messenger. So as of right now, on the right-hand side, if we choose our designer, that paint roller, we can change the way this avatar looks. If you want, you can even come up here to generate and we can type in how we want our agent to look and it'll automatically update for us. Let's say instead of a clipboard, let's say we want them holding a phone. And now you see we now have an agent who is holding a phone. If you want, you can jump over to the upload tab. If you have an image of yourself, maybe you would like to use, or maybe a mascot or someone else who's a part of your brand, you can easily upload their photo and have them as your brand. Something else that you can do is you can always utilize face swaps. If you turn on face swap down here, you can bring in a picture maybe of someone that's a part of your brand and it'll make this Emily agent look more like that person. Next, if we jump over into the next tab over, which is going to be styles, this is where we're gonna change the overall look and feel of our agent. If you want, you can choose a predetermined color scheme, or we can jump down here and choose it ourselves. The agent background is gonna be right behind her right here. We can choose a different color at the top. We can see it now it's ombre. We also have the agent name and the agent role. Changing it here is only going to change what is visible right here. So if we want, we can change her name to Jennifer and she is a travel advisor. Now, if we come down, the page background is gonna be this section that's right back here. Let's change this so we can see what that looks like. Perfect. Now, if you want, if you have a branded image to you and your company and you wanna upload that background, you can absolutely do that here. And the same thing goes, if you want, you can type in a description of a background and AI will generate it for you. Then down here, we have the chat style. This is gonna be this area right over here. If you wanna change that color, we can make that more gray. Change it back over to white. We can even change the font family and the color. We can change that font down to black. And then this button style is going to be this right here. Now, if you'd prefer, you can have your AI agent on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. And then down here, the logo, this is gonna change this if you'd prefer this to be maybe more of a company logo rather than this picture of Jennifer. Now, if we jump over to the next tab, which is going to be the train tab, this is where you're going to add in all the information that Jennifer needs to know in order to help your users. Now, there's four different ways that you can do that as of right now. First is going to be knowledge. This is where you can type in or copy and paste from other places that information in here. Next, we have a link. If you have a website with all of your information on it, you can put your link here and it can crawl up to 100 pages within your website. Going back, we have a file. If you have a PDF or some type of a doc with all of your information, you can easily upload it here and we can add in how you want your agent to utilize this document. Most is gonna be we want to analyze and use this document to help our users. And the last is gonna be question and answer. So if you know of a very specific question that your users are going to ask, you can put that right here. And if at any point your users ask a question and your AI agent doesn't know the answer, it's gonna end up in this question and answer format. And if I head back over here, we would end up seeing it right down here with a red X. So that is your signal to go in and answer that question so that way it knows how to answer it going forward. Now over on the left-hand side, if I jump up to the persona, we can change her name here. We can even change her to be a journey planner. Down here, we can change the language. We can change her tone of voice. Maybe it's more casual or professional. Next, we have our conversation style. We have minimalist, which is going to be very short, succinct answers all the way up to 
very chatty, which is over 250 characters. Now, from personal experience, I would definitely suggest having it somewhere in the middle because the more information that your AI agent can give, the less questions your users are going to have to ask. Then down here at the bottom, we have our chat guidelines. If you'd like to add or take away, these are all AI generated. So make sure you check these right down here. And then we have our voice. Now our voice, you have the ability to change this as well. We have um, different languages. We have different accents. We're gonna go ahead and make her female, we'll make her middle-aged and we can take a listen. Jot form AI agents are- I like Matilda, we can use Matilda. Perfect. And we'll touch more on the voice agents here in a minute. Over on the left hand side, we can jump down to actions. If you're familiar with Jotform Form Builder, this is very similar to the conditional logic. So when a user does something specific, we can have our AI agent offer something specific as well. Next down is tools. If you would like your AI agent to send information anywhere, you can absolutely do that as well. Maybe you want it to set up an appointment. Maybe you want to send it to Google Drive or even Dropbox, you can do that as well. And if there is a tool that you're looking for that's not here, make sure you come down here to request a tool. Next down here, we have our forms. This is where you can add in additional forms. So if you have another travel type form that your users would most likely fill out, you can add that in here and you can even utilize those conditions, like I mentioned above, those actions to kick off that form if they ask something very specific. The last one is going to be teacher agent. This is going to be conversational style type teaching. So if you go up into the top right corner up here in preview and you test your agent and it answers it incorrectly, there's no way for you to tell it, hey, remember this answer next time. Doing it here, testing your agent here will allow you to have that type of conversation and say, hey, that answer is wrong. Go ahead and add this into your knowledge base the next time someone asks this question. Now jumping over to our publish tab, this is where we can share our agent. Right now it's a public agent. If you would like to make it private, you can even company access. We can copy this link and send it through the appropriate channels or we can even invite by email. Right down here, we can share our agent on social or we have different embed options. We have a full page embed, we have a chat bot, WordPress specific, and even a light box or a pop-up depending on your needs. On the left-hand side, this is where we're going to edit all of those individual places. So we have our chat bot and we have a preview of that down in the bottom corner, right down here. And if there's anything you need to change, we can do that here. We have our phone agent and we have our voice agent. And right up here, this is where you have access to those voice settings again. And if we scroll down, we have those same embed options as well. Next, we have our SMS agent. This will allow your agent to send text messages to your users. We have WhatsApp, you'll use Facebook in order to log into that. We have our Messenger agent. We have a Gmail agent, and we also have different platforms as well if you would like to do that. And we also, if you're familiar with Jotform apps, we have a similar style down here. We have our agent app, and we can change the name and icon right here. We can even change our splash screen and we can even turn on push notifications so people have that information right at their fingertips on their phone. But let's go ahead in the top right hand corner, let's go ahead and jump over to preview and we can do request travel arrangements. Now this is going to automatically jump into that form filling process. We'll say July. All right, so now this question on the form is going to be a drop down. So you see there's three different options. We'll definitely be flying there. And so here we can review all of our information and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and submit. Perfect, now if you want, we can keep chatting, but let's go ahead and jump out of preview. And from Agent Builder, I'm gonna jump over into our inbox. We're gonna choose our travel request form. And here we have George's conversation view, but if we want, we can turn on the submission view and we have all of his information right here. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to turn one of your existing forms into an AI agent, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.